gathered friends, listen to a tale of glory from the adventures of Tahu, Toa of Fire. <clears throat> now I knew it was the case of my life when I walked into the office that day. Common instinct told me lying to me could make me seem cooler. Either way, the news hit me so hard I was practically knocked out of that old building on West Potato Street. The priceless mask of life has been stolen from the Kini Nui Museum, but they want to keep it under wraps and find it before the scandal breaks loose. They're begging I send you. Me? What makes them think I won't want the exposure for a cover in their precious mask? They've seen your record and they know you're a classy guy who's picky with his cases and quick to get results. Maybe so, but this is a real long shot here. How can I look for evidence at the crime scene if they're keeping it under wraps? Good question. Thing is, they already set you up with a lead. Talk to a guy named SP at the Connor Rock Cafe. He'll have the answers you're looking for. I see. Sounds like it's time for a disguise. Come on, you're not gonna fool anyone. The Connor Rock Cafe. A joint I've never frequented myself. A warm with the reputation trouble. I found myself speaking with this SP fellow at a table too small for me, but the info I needed was right for the table. This information has been helpful. Thank you, sir. Look, last thing. There's a woman you know, Golly. Rumor has it she's mixed up with this thing. Might have set up the whole robbery. Hmm, wouldn't put it past her with her wit. Thanks, SP. Wish me luck. Sure thing, Tahu. You're gonna need it. With Golly. Mix, I knew this bowl of batter could explode in my face. Of course, metaphorically, that would be tasty, but life ain't no metaphor. Thankfully, I knew what Golly had been holding up. Tahu, I might have known it was you. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Where is that mask of life? What? The mask of life! I know you took it. If you hand it over now, you can forget jail time. You always tried to shield me from trouble before. It's that mask of yours. Enough beating around the bush! Alright, I took it. But I only did because I knew who was going to get there first. Get there first? What are you- Oh no. GET DOWN! <laughs> Quick, follow me! That's the last thing I remembered. Being knocked out by my femme fatale as the room was gunned down around us. Wait, so that's it? That was a really terrible story. Hey, shut up! I'm not done yet! I woke up hidden under the floorboards, and I quickly realized Golly put me there before she was taken by the mystery thieves. Thankfully, she'd left me a vital clue, so I knew what had to be done. I need a horse! Sorry, this is all I got. Oh, okay. Ugh, uh, uh. I said a horse! Stupid thing. Ah, uh, the old Bow Rock Gang. I should've known it was you. Felt a dark shadow over me all night. Help! Help! Shut up! Alright, say it, Tahu. It was you who led us right to the mask. Shame you had to skip out and leave this whole business unfinished. Well, I'm finishing it now. You have one chance. Give up Golly and the mask now and you can walk away. You think your demands mean a thing? You're outnumbered. Am I? Cause I count a total of zero. Amazing. You're the fastest gun in the West. Maybe true. But now, I have to return this here mask. Care to join me? Lead the way, Tahu. Lead the way. And off we rode into the sunset. The mask was returned, safe and sound. And Golly was saved thanks to my incredible heroics. So, what do you guys think? Well, they say no news is good news. No, they don't!